My name is Lauren Hinkson. I'm the curator of Il Guggenheim, La Vanguardia Americana, 1945 to 1980. This exhibition examines key moments in the history of American art in the decades following the Second World War. There are nearly 60 works on view, paintings, sculptures, installations, and photographs that are each highlights from the Guggenheim's iconic collection. We've organized the exhibition so that each of the galleries in the Palazzo focuses on a major movement in post-war American art, beginning with the origins of abstract painting in the 1940s and continuing through conceptual and photorealist art in the 1970s and 80s. This exhibition is about the history of American art from this period, but it's also about the transformation of the collection and the individuals who helped shape the exhibition the exhibition program, collecting pattern, and truly the direction of the museum from 1945 to 1980. There are three individuals who, in my opinion, helped support the art of this time through the Guggenheim's collection, exhibition, and curatorial programs. Peggy Guggenheim was a prolific collector of European art and spent most of her time in Europe. However, she came to New York during the war and opened a gallery museum called Art of the Century. From 1942 to 1947, she encouraged abstract expressionist artists through an exhibition and collecting program that gave Jackson Pollock, Mark Rothko, and William Baziotis their first exhibitions in New York. Another figure from this period in the Guggenheim's history is Lawrence Alloway who joined the museum in the 1960s and proceeded to show two important exhibitions. In 1963, Lawrence Alloway presented Six Painters in the Object, an exhibition of pop art that for the first time brought the style of work to American audiences. Included in the show were Robert Rauschenberg, James Rosenquist, Andy Warhol, and others. A third key figure in the Guggenheim's history is Count Giuseppe Panza di Biumo. Panza collected minimal, conceptual, and post-minimal art at a time when many American collectors and museums had no interest in the work. His collection of this work became one of the most important collections of post-minimal, conceptual, and minimal art in the world. The Guggenheim acquired in 1991 and 1992 some 380 works from Panza making the Guggenheim one of the most important public repositories for this style of work. In this exhibition, all the artists share a commitment to questioning conventions, an idea the Guggenheim, its curators, and its patrons also share. As much as the paintings, sculptures, installations, and photographs on view are works of art, they are also propositions about what art can be. I hope that the audiences that visit the Palazzo see this through the diversity of artworks on view and find it as inspiring as I do. Mm -hmm.